this is going to be a short video because I have some things to do here and the cleaning staff. Cleaning people are coming. Listen to me, staff. Oh, I forgot my lipstick. <laughs> there. <laughs> well, several people said I looked bright and cheerful yesterday and I attribute that to the lipstick. <laughs> Cheers. I'm Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. On December 12th, that means it's the last day for my Arctic craft. And I've been saying, gee, I should have bought 24. Well, it turns out Benta made 12. Because she did a, a um, Halloween. Halloween. And there's only so much you can do when you're one person doing all the work. So anyway, today's my last day. I have no knitting to show you. I did not knit a stitch yesterday. Good thing I got ahead. So now I'm all caught up. <laughs> but I was busy decorating. I'm not finished decorating, but I did a lot. Today I'm gonna, tonight I'm gonna decorate the tree, but I have everything out for the tree. And um, so I will give you a tour tomorrow morning when everything is finished but I've got to organize the rest of these boxes the cleaning people are coming around noon so I don't have too much time some of them are just gonna go in the dining room until they leave and I can come back and trying to consolidate them De Dennis would really love to have way fewer Christmas boxes in the basement and I'm trying to accommodate that So there you go. No knitting to show you today. That's so crazy. So I'm going to open my advents. This is my last day of Benta. Oh, I got a treat. A little treasure. Oh, how cute. Thank you. I love the little treats too. Ooh. Wow, interesting. This is rustier, a rustier color than is showing. It is not such a bright orange. It's more like a rust. This is very, yeah, this is looking way brighter. I don't know. I could turn my light up, I guess. Let me try that. Mm, didn't help a lot. It. These are muted fall colors. These aren't quite so bright as they're showing up. It's beautiful though. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's going to be beautiful in my shawl. How fun. Anyway, I really enjoyed Benta's advent a lot. And me It's a caravan, as she calls it. Megan does her dying in a caravan, I think. With the Christmas tree on top. How cute. How cute is this? Oh, and it hangs like this. It's got a hanger like that. That is adorable. Thank you, my dear. This is where my, my minis are getting dyed. I know it. I know it. How cute. <laughs> Ooh, sparkle. And it's a little not quite as bright. Well, isn't that funny? That's actually not bad. <laughs> well, I wonder why the other gets some colors and some color. I did my lemons the other day, and I'm one, I've got to, you know, I'm not hardly trainable. I do this every time I do my lemons because I hold the lemon and I'm peeling it with a peeler. I need to put a Band-Aid on before I start. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that color. Oh, the shawl is going to go into such beautiful places. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you, ladies, for such beautiful, beautiful 
Oh, yarns. This is my natural light. It is very cloudy outside. It's not supposed to rain, which is good because I put the rest of my boxwood. That's boxwood greenery on there. I get boxwood at that at the produce junction when I got the poinsettias because it doesn't um, shed when it gets dry. It doesn't shed like pine needles do. It doesn't smell either. But for me, that's not a terrible thing because of my issue with scents. So, yeah. So, so yesterday, I procrastinated all day. I have no idea what I did, but I didn't knit. And then after dinner, I, I decorated. And that I was having a lot of trouble getting into the mood. I wasn't sure what I was going to do over the fireplace. The fireplace is obviously sort of the centerpiece of the decorations and the and the tree. But I can't decorate the tree till I go to the store because my two my two my lights for the tree neither of them work. So the tree is pre lit, but that didn't you know you pay twenty five dollars for a tree and the the pre lit lights don't stay on when you have the tree up for a year and a half. You know they have a tendency to stop working which is what happened so um so i need to buy some lights for that and i need to get s i'm going to get some tallish candles to go in the back of the reindeer and i've got to get a little thing of outdoor lights for my tiny little tree in the corner my new little bush Karen said, oh, you should put lights on your little tree. I'm like, you're right. Absolutely. So we're getting putting lights on the little tree and some lights on this tree too. And maybe another set of lights because there are lights. Oh, I should have, I should have put the lights on. There aren't enough lights. I'm going to show you my decorations tomorrow, but I'm going to put another string of lights on the mantle. And I might think about my windows and see they feel a little sparse, but I'm not sure what to do. If I get up there with my, I do have some just a red, bit wide red ribbon that would go nicely around those windows, and it might be just enough. I don't know if you recall, but three years ago, um, I bought... I guess it was two years ago because it was when I was blogging. I bought some fabric. Oh, I can show it to you because it's in the dining room. It's been there for two years. It's one of the many bazillion things that I have to clean up in the dining room. So I might as well do that today because it doesn't belong in the dining room. But it is um, burnt velvet and the back of it comes up gold. And I... I got a piece that I'm not sure it's the, you know, I, t I got all of it. And once I got it home, I wasn't exactly sure, given the length I have, exactly how it was going to drape around those windows. But it's still my plan to drape it. Maybe I'll wait for Christy to come and have her advice, although I'm not sure exactly when she's coming. Certainly have to get it out of the dining room in the meanwhile. So anyway, I'll stop. I'll stop trying to fold it while I'm sitting down talking to you. But isn't it pretty? And I thought it would drape it over those windows. And I had some idea that it would just stay up all year round because that maroon covering over the mantle um, stays up all year round. Because I hate my mantle. My sister made me that cover for it. Wasn't that sweet of her? Um... <clears throat> So this will go very well, but I have to figure out how it's going to drape, given given the um, amount of yarn that of uh, fabric that I have. Try to think if I cut it long ways. I could cut it long ways. It feels like it's wide enough. <sighs> See, and now I'm doing it, and now I'm even folding it when I just said I wasn't gonna. But now I'm almost done, so I will. So anyway, there you go that but i'm thinking about those windows i may just get some um thumbtacks 
and just thumbtack some ribbon around it just to give it a little more something something I do have a few things to still put up I'm not going to put up the little things I have little knitted Santas and things that cook snowmen and Mrs. Santas that have been gifts that I've been given that I love my, so much and I have my little elves that I usually put on the top of the television but I don't want to put all those up when the cleaners are coming and have that make them deal with them because it doesn't make any sense so I will and I found this gong Megan loves gonks I bought this gonk for her last year two years ago um in December I went to the Christmas tree shop and I thought oh I'll get a gong for Megan and I got it I don't know if you can tell how ratty his beard looks that's because the one of the dogs loved it I think Pearl I think Pearl is into gonks, so anyway, I couldn't send it to her because it got too much Pearl loving. But isn't it cute? <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. I'll stop. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please, please stay safe and stay sane.